Hey dude, it's Thub, and we went out bottle picking this morning. Yes, we did. I actually, uh, we did okay. Found some interesting stuff. I have some clips here, so why don't you guys check those out? Well, let's just look at that. A sander. Cool. Stash that and come back for it. Hey. A couple of decent chunks of aluminum in this one. Full. Oh, it's missing its cap. Oh, would you just look at this? I just inherited an angle grinder. Looks a little dangerous, to be honest. I'll come back for it. Oh, we're in here. Aluminum pole. Hello. Power cord for a Mac. Oh, would you just look at that? Uh, got some steel. Definitely taking those. Ghost Rider mystery game. Those are all crap, but you just never know what someone will buy. That's the sound of cans. Busted up binoculars. Huh. Oh, that's heavy. A lot of money just sitting in this one. I don't know if that's really safe to drink. I mean, it's sealed. Just gonna stash those all together right there. That was at least a dollar. Well, looky, looky. Wait a sec. Those aren't wires, those are just tubes. I got all excited for nothing. Now see, these guys, these guys get it. These guys are freaking awesome. I love people, I do. It's an ashtray. You got a brand new toilet seat? That's coming with me. I honestly don't know if these are even worth the effort. But we're gonna find out. I think the trick is just finding enough joy in the kindness of good people that it overwhelms the disappointment in the the gross people. Ah, uh, me old friend. What the F? When there's all those. That is full of a lot of good stuff. Not interested in these nuts. Definitely coming back for that. What great news. That is so clever. They can hang their chairs so they can do their lawn. Nice. Nice. Well, that's a bunch of Pokemon cards. Couple right there. Well, that was pretty fun, and we did above average as far as the bottles went. 
Um, you guys have probably seen most of this stuff already, but I'll just make it real quick. This is the scrap metal. We got three hubs. Those are good steel. Some aluminum. These I'm just going to pick the brass and copper off of. This is the aluminum, and that's actually the bin from our rice cooker, which is, you know, aluminum. That little pile of wire. And then over here we got the fun stuff. This is a brand new toilet seat. I don't know what they're worth, but hopefully someone wants to buy it. Um, a stack of games. The rest of them were missing pieces. A uh, gingerade kombucha. This one is actually, this one expired on the 28th and the top is kind of swollen. So I'm probably not gonna show you guys when I try it. Some sunglasses, which are small, some double A's, a uh, headlight, which needs the screw replaced, but that's not gonna be hard to do. A stack of Pokemon cards. They're not particularly good. The only shiny is uh, folded up at the top. And two product boxes. This is the Apple keyboard, and that's a Canon lens. I don't know. That is just going to... We're going to roll the dice. And no, I haven't actually tried selling any yet. I'm just stacking them up. We'll see. I'll let you know when I do. The uh, B-Cell little green steam cleaner machine thingy MacBook charger. This is actually perfect for a project I've got in the next couple of days. You'll see. These we're going to have to test... And these, I am probably the most excited about. I got a new pair of gloves, which is great, because you know I live and die by my work gloves, and the other ones were getting totally trashed. So these ones actually have a leather palm, leather grips on the thing. These are gonna be great, and I'm really glad I found them. These two, let's try those right now. First up, the palm sander. This one, oh, it's on, on right now. No. This one is not turning on, but I could use one, so I'm actually going to take the time to tinker around with that, see if I can fix it. But I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that right now. Okay, next. What is your problem, little green? I don't know what's wrong with that stupid thing, but... I'm pretty excited about this haul video. Because I mentioned a couple videos back, all of these things that I'd found in a different dumpster. I haven't even gone through those yet, so I'm gonna go through those with you guys. And the same is true with this other bag of stuff that I pulled. We kinda had a look. So this is a brand new sealed and package um, towel. We got a towel. These two tiny adorable lamps. Okay. An HDMI cord. I'm not gonna keep it because it's got a bunch of sticky things on it. We got some garden shears. Oh, here's one of those little like candle burny. I don't care. Oh my god, I think this just might be the power adapter that goes with. Oh, we all already looked at it. The Acer Notebook. Yeah. Windows 7. Yeah. Now, I haven't actually opened it. Five bucks says it's got a cracked screen. It has not got a cracked screen. Five bucks says this doesn't fit. It does fit. I have no idea what's wrong with this. You would assume there's something wrong with it. Plugging it in. It's charging. We're gonna leave that plugged in while we finish this off. And we got a shower head. There's no brass on it though. This is a bag for a suit. All right, the rest of that is trash. But this is gonna seem kind of weird. I'm actually excited about the bag. It's one of the good ones and that's the stuff that I use. Heavy duty trash bags are my jam. And I've been getting, a couple of mine have been getting to the point where one of them's getting thrown out. These are really, really bad. I wonder if they can cut wire though. Nope, these are useless. Forget them, trash. Look at that charge light though. I'm seriously excited about this. Just like, look at this thing, the condition, wow. Until Adam, 1.66512, 160 gigabyte hard drive in this. One gigabyte of RAM. Looks pretty slick. Okay, now we're just gonna keep motoring. This is poorly focused. The rest of the stuff that I didn't show you guys. 
So, this is a brand new inbox. Let's back up. So this is a brand new in-package chrome vent visor set for a 2004-2007 Ford F-150. I bet that's an easy 10 bucks. Um, found these rubber boots. Ladybugs. Chuck Taylors, black on black, but they've got the plaid plushy liner for the, for the cold winter months. So, add those to the pile. This is a laptop bag that, let's get some Let's get some more light in. Okay, this is a laptop bag that actually looks really slick. It's got like, um, just take my word for it. It's got a lot of pockets and stuff and it's in great shape. It needs a bit of a wipe down, but that's it. That's a coat rack, this is a towel rod. It's not really a rod, it's more of a bar. And I found a whole bunch of product boxes. Um, I definitely have a box for everything Apple has ever made at this point, as well as some other stuff. Like a diesel watch. I don't actually know what that's from. I'm just going a little nuts on product foxes. Oh yeah, and a, a, a Beatles um, coaster. Ow, my head. Sometimes that happens, I just get like this twinge in my eyebrow. It's, it's, it's weird. So, now, just have a look at this. I have not gone through any of this. I'm pretty sure it's mostly wire. That's a movie. Underworld Evolution. It's scratched. This is not that scratched. Let me get back to you when I actually find out which ones have their discs. Okay, so the discs are really, um, we got Kingdom of Heaven on DVD, um, Deus Ex uh, for PC. I think that's actually supposed to be pretty cool, so I might hang on to that. Um, this is just the case, but I am keeping it. Vanguard Bandits, it's by Working Designs. They did the same, they were the people who published um, Dragon Force on the uh, Sega Saturn, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And they really put a lot of effort into their um, their printing and publishing their games. Like you can tell from all of the, the holographic background and the metallic shiny lettering and there's lots of metallic stuff on the back too so there's no game in there it's just the case with the the cover art and such um but i think just because of what i know about this publisher this is probably worth a couple dollars um classified two disc set and uh, unopened xbox 360 manual thing that looks Really, Microsoft? You couldn't do better than that? Now the rest of this, speed things up a bit. Please play again, please play again. It's a fancy-ish looking pair of gaming headphones, but they're kind of older. Somebody out there needs gaming headphones, I know it. Oh, it's, let me see if I can find the microphone for it. Um, what else are we looking at? Remote, remote, here we are. Some computer speakers, and oh good, they're full of sand. These seem basic AF, so tell you what, I'm gonna organize this a bit, and then I'll show you. Sound good? Okay, there wasn't anything magnificent in there. The headphones, a bunch of remotes, and this is a USB um, game controller, so yeah, someone might want that. Um, I'm probably just gonna scrap these because They've got a funny sound, and they're not powered, so they're not gonna be, like, very good. I guess they'd be decent laptop plug-in speakers. Um, this is a pile of wire that I already scrapped. That I, is a control thing for whatever, and I'm not gonna scrap these until I find out what else is in the other one. So let's have a look at this one now. This is really fun. This is like dumpster Christmas. Um, right on the top, there's um, 007 collection. I don't know if these are if I put these in the right box because there's actually two boxes, but this one's empty. I mean, besides the scratches on the outside, they look pretty much perfect. A Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic on PC. It's in there. Oh, that's not in there. Jedi mind tricks. But I'm not just going to do the dump it out yet because I know there it is. Uh, I found another. Um, this is a mug full of pennies. So again, someone literally threw money away. 
people are crazy. Now I'll dump it out. Whoa! Oh, there's some... Oh, there's some more pennies. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? I mean, how could you not get excited? I don't even know what this stuff is. But we're gonna find out together. First off, this heavy thing. Black & Decker Power To Go. Glad I didn't tear apart the uh, AC adapters yet, because this is going to need one. But how cool is that? Dual USB and one of those. I hope I can get that charging, because that's freaking cool. Mad Cat's wireless gaming adapter. I, I don't get it. I'm going to have to look that up. Missing two of them, so I hope I find those. Okay, what is this thing? All right, we got an Xbox 360 controller. Hi. Yeah. Uh, look at this. Power to go? Yeah. What? Like I declare who I'm, like what creatures I'm attacking? No, the, the, the block, the defender declares which creatures are blocked and by whom. Okay. And they can only block one creature. Yeah, unless it says otherwise. Right. This is a dumb game. This thing's really got me These interested. Cool. It's I I really don't know what it is, but it says 1080p HDMI BDYs, uh, USB 2.0 CD ripping CD to MP3 touch sensor key. It's got play, pause, power, open, and it's got a CD tray, a disc tray, um, and no inputs, just outputs. Kind of looks like a really fancy DVD player. If you know what that is, please tell us. Because we don't know. Other than that, I'm just going to snip up all this wire and I'll show you guys if I find anything interesting. Optic TV reference guy. Woo. Okay, after all that, here's what we're keeping. I noticed Uberism sold a big box of remotes, so maybe I'll try that. Um, two controllers. Most of the 007 collection. This some kind of player, I don't have the remote for that. And I am saving some cables. I've got a bit of a fetish for unique cables, so whenever I find something that kind of stands out, I add it to the collection. And if I already have one, it gets scrapped. Both the cables for a PlayStation, S-Video, and these are those USB wall adapters. These are HDMI. I'm keeping this one because it's from an Xbox and they make pretty good ones. This one because it's a large to a small HDMI, and this one because it's really long. And it's kind of a pain to find a long one. Those can be expensive. The right angle power cord, that weird USB thing, because it's nicely wrapped up. And then one of each of these for when I'm putting a computer together. And then here, I decided to start a box of AC adapters. Because I keep running across them and it's kind of cool to have the one that you needed. Now, let's see if we can figure out why they threw this out. I have no idea why they threw this out. Don't really care though. Decent set of connectors. Oh, I see. There's no HDMI out. That's why they threw it out, mystery solved! No, but seriously, that's a great find. Sweet. <sighs> that was quite a haul. I am tired. I worked really hard today. I'm gonna go take a nap. You guys are awesome, and don't you forget it. And, uh, well, I've got a couple different ideas for tomorrow. I'm excited about both of them. They're both really important and both gonna be really fun. Maybe I'll just film both of them, and I'll only post one, save the other one for later. Or maybe I'll just hang out with you guys. I don't know, but whatever you decide to do tomorrow, I hope you leave it better than you found it, and remember to keep doing the thing. People are selfish and people are prone to hate, but God, I love some people sometimes, because people are the greatest thing to happen.